the next way you want to conduct your practice so that you are practicing positively and getting a lot out of your practice is the five point game. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take three clubs here and we're gonna come up to a hole. Now you can do this with a long hole, a medium hole, and a short hole. Here I've got a medium hole and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three clubs and I'm gonna set them in sort of a semi-circle around the hole, okay? So we've got the club set up here and that is my target area. The better you become, you can make that circle smaller, almost to where it's a half square, if you will, just it won't be closed in. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our most lofted club. We're gonna work on our feel, creativity, and imagination. So if you remember, the two club drill is your chance to work on technique. Now, as a better player, a person that's trying to break 90, 80, or even a tour player, you want to keep your feel, your, your imagination fresh. So we're going to do the five point game. We're going to start with our lob wedge and we're going to work on the same setup and we're just going to chip to within that area until we get five points. Now the scoring goes as follows. Every ball that finishes within that area is a point. If you make it, you get two points. So in this case, I'm chipping with my lob wedge and I'm chipping until I get five points. If we don't have a lot of time, we're just gonna chip till we get three points. So both of those balls are a little short. The great thing about this game, as we zoom up on those balls there, the farthest one is maybe three feet away from the hole. That shot in this game, I would not consider a point. Now, if you're a person that's trying to break 90, that's a great shot. If you're trying to break 80, that's still a good shot. That is an up and down, that is a par, okay? But in this game, I'm trying to get you to, to be creative, to try to make it, to try to learn how to hit these shots. After I get my points, I would just switch clubs then to my pitching wedge. You notice that the lob wedge would have to fly pretty good ways. Now that I'm chipping with my pitching wedge and I land this ball on the front of the green, it's probably the right club. And you can see that shot works up there pretty close. So there's my point. And I keep chipping until I get my five points. If it goes within there, hit the club and it stayed in, that's great. That's another point. Now, I'm going to get down to my seven iron here at this point. And again, if I land this ball on the front of the green, you're going to see that this ball is going to be running too far by. Now I might, it bounced over the club, so that's great. So that's not a point. How does this teach you feel, creativity, and imagination? The late Harvey Pennock, he taught Tom Kite and Ben Crenshaw to use extra clubs so that they could hit the ball softer, and it, he believed that it taught them how to have soft hands. I agree with that. I also agree that for you people that might play overseas, play in some European, some British style courses, um, this will teach you the bump and run shot. So for me to hit this close, I have to land this short of the green and let it run out towards the hole. So as I do this again, I'm gonna land it short of the green and it's just gonna be a little bump and run and it's gonna finish right within that area. Also understand, you're gonna hit a shot. As you hit a shot here, which is, which is gonna be great for your practice, the harder you make practice, the easier golf becomes. You're gonna hit a shot out here, and if you're at a skill level of trying to break 90 or trying to break 80, you hit a shot. This is three feet away from the hole, literally one pace. This is a shot that is not acceptable in this game. And you're gonna be like, gosh, I didn't get my point. But understand, in golf, in life, playing on the course, your bad shot is three feet. That's not a bad way to play golf. As you make this game harder on yourself and you move these, game, these closer, this shot right here, which is literally about a foot and a half, is unacceptable. So you can see how you can make these games harder and your practice becomes better, your bad shots become better, and you start shooting lower scores. So use the five point game to learn feel, creativity, and imagination and start learning to get up and down from everywhere around the green.